Hey guys, today I'm going to try to hire someone from my game store. Let me kind of explain this scenario that it's going to happen. So Isabel would, would be perfect for the game store. I will make her an offer. I'll text her an offer soon enough. She has a, a great personality for the store, but even if we hire Isabel for the store, we're still going to need a second person to work the hours she is not working at. So we have three different locations one of the locations flooded hence why this opportunity came up to look for a another location so one of our locations is downtown houston the other location is my home and we spend every friday at my home because it's more of a casual atmosphere it's a lot of fun i will do a pitch of why you should work for me the minimal I've ever paid an employee, even with no experience, with no college degree, Brandon has no high school degree. I'm, if he has a high school degree, I think it's a GED that he took afterwards. I pay them, I pay at least fourteen forty three an hour, which comes out to 30000 a year. It's not a lot, but it's enough that I think you can survive and learn skills. And this is for the most basic employee. This is for an employee with no skill, possibly no high school degree. Many times they have a college degree. I don't know if you guys remember Amy, but Amy had three associate degrees and not a bachelor degree. And that's where we started her off at. Eventually she proved herself and now she works for T-Mobile as a marketing manager. That's not a bad job to have. Let me tell you, being a marketing manager at T-Mobile pays quite well and i i did the recommendation i said you know amy i really enjoyed your time here but i cannot match this very very lucrative opportunity for you so off you go taught her everything that she needed to know and then that was it so ideally i would find another employee like isabel isabel was a good employee she had a lot of strong suits but her weak suit was showing up on time so ideally this person could he or she would show up on time and that w would cover the weakness that Isabel had so as a team these two people could run my front store so you might be asking okay the store is opening January why make um, why make a video now and why hire now well remember the two other locations yeah you can work from either of the two other locations and be part of the team I am fully invested and I may or may not be taking investors. I feel like I don't want investors initially because the valuation is too low. Uh, 50,000 for 50% of the magic store, it might be a good deal for most people, but since we're gonna be a digital magic store, it probably isn't that great of a deal for me personally or the companies, the holding companies. The other, I have two other investors who are invested in everything I do. And even if I told them, we're going to run a carnival, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a carnival and we'll have Pokemon games and we have Pokemon Go carnival. They would be like, all right, uh, let's, own 50, let's own some X percent of uh, that carnival. You Having investors is kind of a blessing and then it's also a curse. If blessing gives you money, curses, they just, you, you can't get rid of them. No matter what you like. When I pitched the magic store concept, I did not expect them to be interested, but they were interested and they said, yeah, okay, just tell us when it's up and we'll take a look at it. So I got to work really hard on my website, which I am currently working on. I just posted 19 new articles on the website. It's still very, uh, man, the content is not there. The inventory is not there. And this person hopefully would be, Okay, the reason that I'm paying 1430, $14.43 is that's the minimal amount I would ever pay anyone. That is the core, that is our base salary, assuming you have no experience. And most people who work at my office have no experience. Amy didn't have any experience in marketing. Her associate degrees were in fine arts, pre-med, and then graphic design. And she wasn't that great of a graphic designer, to be honest. But I mean, she, I taught her digital marketing and now she has a huge, uh, amazing job at T-Mobile and we're still, no, we're still good friends. So the same with Isabel, she came, she does she didn't have a college degree and we gave her the opportunity. It didn't work out. The Hurricane Harvey kind of messed up the schedule because then she moved away and then she moved back. And then at that time her f house had flooded and we will, I'm, the business has to go on. 
the business has to go on. I mean, that's, we can't all just like bankrupt, you know, and then that would be bad for employees. Some of our employees have kids. Some of our employees are, one of our employees are, mm, I guess, contract workers is pregnant. So she needs a lot of hours now, but then eventually she'll peel away once she has her second child and take less hours. But 1443, if you work 2,080 hours a year, which is 52 times 40, you should be making at least 30,000, which is the minimal I think you need to survive. Maybe people argue with me on that, but I can't imagine someone surviving in Houston or Humble or any of these areas with a salary below 30,000. And now obviously that is your starting salary and you can work your way up as the model becomes more profitable. I don't expect profitability until two years. I don't expect break even until two years. Then we pay all, all the investors back and everyone's good. And we're getting close to that point right now. So I'm looking for a employee. They would have to know magic. They would have to probably work with Isabel, but if not Isabel, there's another person who works at Think Geek, and she's been hounding me for a job uh, since she likes art and illustration. But right now I don't. So I wanna hire someone who can do alters full time. And that would be your only job. We would sell your altars on our website and that's all you would be doing. You would be altering and doing paintings and, and I'll have another video for that. Uh, it wouldn't be illustration unless you could sell playmats, which I think is really difficult to sell. I've never been able to sell anything online to Magic players, but I think altars at the very least, if they don't sell, they're not gonna deteriorate in value. They're, I'm just gonna have them and I will personally buy them to have them as displays. So I like products where if it doesn't sell, I will just buy it at cost, right? I'm not gonna pay the markup fee on my you know, own project. So that is alters. And I'll have another video about that and that will pay a different salary. Uh, 1443 is what I pay someone with no, with no relevant college degree you might not even have a high school degree. Maybe you just have a GED. Is a GED a high school degree? I don't know. No, I'm, I get confused about that sometimes in resumes. And yeah, I think it's going to be a great place to work. I'll show you some. Throughout the re... I want to hire now. Oh, I definitely want to hire before November because I want to have the online website up December. Yes, we're not going to physically move to the location until January but we have two physical locations that we can work from to for the online website. So I need someone who is a little bit web savvy, maybe social media savvy, and at least your social media should parallel mine. I don't spend much time on my social media, mine's on LinkedIn. So I'm hoping that you have more Instagram followers than me, more Twitter followers than me. As a lot of you probably notice, our Facebook group, I just auto post. That is not me posting at the time of day it is me auto posting so yeah anyway that is it bye guys